Okay, so this is a video I did not really want to make, but uh, we're going to go through the installation of NASCAR Sim Racing. NASCAR Sim Racing on Windows 10 is very, very actually, let's try this. The setup for the game is very convoluted. Convoluted, difficult. On Windows 10, it is super difficult just to get it running. Why we have Windows XP? Well, let's start. So first, for me, I installed a copy of Windows XP Professional. Yes, who cares? It's Windows XP. This is Windows XP Professional XA6. It's a 32-bit copy. 64-bit, I'm pretty sure it would also work here, but I installed 32-bit just in case. This is in a virtual machine. Boomy. Now, once you get... Well, uh, personally, please do, I would say, do a complete full install of, uh, of NASCAR Sim Racing. Just to be safe, you don't need to do the disk. Um, if you have a disk, great. If you have an ISO of it, I don't really care for it. You can use the ISO. If you have a crack for the game to make sure that it'll be ran without a CD, perfect. That's great, especially for Windows 10, because on Microsoft's... Uh, thing and decide to get rid of uh, let's see our security for games so that older games from Windows XP days will no longer work on Windows 10. Boo! Except if you get rid of the update on because there's a separate update that came out for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 that turned it off. Boo! Don't install it. Once you got that taken care of, you see by the installation and, and program files, it's um looks normal. Um, all I have highlighted is is the config.ini. This is pretty much the most important file you're going to need for Windows 10. There's actually two. So in my fixes um, folder, I have config.ini, which is the exact same from the installation for NASCAR Sim Racing. And 3D config. This 3D config actually came from F1 Challenge 99202. Yes, you'll need this specific thing because for some dumb reason, 3D setup does not want to run on Windows 10 at all. I think it runs, but pretty much NASCAR Sim Racing, the EXE for it, will not run with 3D setup. You'll need to get rid of it on Windows 10. So pretty much remove 3D setup.exe into the recycling bin, uh, copy 3D config over to the sim racing folder, rename 3D config.exe to 3D sub.exe, then set up your game. If you go into the sub, so here's my sub, yeah, from multi Intel, pen, it's not a Pentium processor. Um, so, VMware, the highest it will go, um, I tend to go if you're running it in. Uh, Actually, let's do that first. Let's open config.ini. This is what you're mainly looking at. Uh, the system RAM, if you want to do the same thing, you need to copy the config.ini. If you're using a virtual machine, special for VMware, uh, copy the config.ini from Windows XP, drag it into a separate folder in Windows 10. Then, well, let's set up first. Um, so system RAM, video RAM, this should be all fine. Um, you do not need to run a benchmark for starters. Um, I would suggest running the game in a windowed mode just to be safe. Just to be safe, so it's full screen. It might take over, the game might take over the full screen and you won't even see the display. You won't see the game running. So window mode will be fine. Um, think dealing with anti-aliasing, I can leave that at zero. The effects on MIP maps, VSync to go over your display is one. That would be safe for me. So, if you have a 60 hertz display, it'll run at 60 hertz. That's fine. Everything else here should be fine. Except when you need to fix something for Windows 10. Then you need to give us specific permissions. Um, in part two, I will be showing you what exactly you need to do with Windows 10. Um. So, I will still be recording, but it won't be in a separate video. It'll just be one. But I'll be back for that. 
So now back over here on Windows 10, so I want to have the config config.ini from, from XP over to your server folder. You need to either have a copy of F1 Challenge 99202 installed and copy the config.exe from from that installation folder to a separate folder, or or you can you can actually find the game on the internet or the actual exe on the internet. Download that and then put it into your separate folder. Now for NASCAR Sim Racing. So in our documents folder, that so that config.exe from Windows XP will go into here. So basically, it'll be simple, just copy and then paste. I already have the file in there. So if you now open up the file, it will open like so. It'll be pretty much the exact same thing from Windows XP. Everything, everything should still be the same, except I made a few changes, which is a fun part for the actual thing, which is going to be fun for sim racing itself. SysRAM should be the same. It should be the exact same setup. I gave my around four gigabytes of RAM on XP, which caused two. Okay, fine, that's fine. Everything here should be fine. I just changed from window mode uh, to one on XP, but this here is zero, so yeah, I'm a little different. Now, the fun part. Once that's taken care of, hello sim racing. This is fun. So that 3D config, yes, it gets copied over here. However, first you need to remove 3D sep. It should have a different icon than what's here because that's 3D config. Remove the original 3D setup, so pretty much delete it. Then copy 3D config over to the net, to the sim racing to the NASCAR sim racing installation folder. Then rename rename from 3D config to 3D setup. Make sure it's okay. Then the fun part. So the config file. So why am I going to properties? So this is where it gets fun. You need to go to security, users. Well, actually, you just press, press on edit. Go to users, and you need to give it write permissions. Allow write. Yep, you need to give it write permissions because if you do change. If you do change anything in the config settings, Windows will not allow you to do it. Obviously, it makes sense because it's in an x86 folder. Boo. Then again, XP didn't need for it. Oh well. Yeah, but this is basically what you need to actually write your changes to the config file. Thank you, Microsoft. So once you allowed write permissions, pretty much good to go. You can make changes. So pretty much what you so so pretty much you could still copy the config that you see but it's going to be slightly different. You see my system RAM is at minus twenty forty four. Mine has for my actual computer has ten gigs. Yeah the game's not gonna run. You think you think so even though VRAM says zero, that's still fine. Video mode is five. We'll look into that shortly. Um, I have it to as window mode as zero. I don't need to run because I can run in full screen. We'll get to the 3D config part. Uh, run benchmarks, which is good. I don't need benchmarks. Benchmarks give it a little bit of trouble for me. And my computer is still way powerful. Benchmarks not even needed. Uh, FSA I leave at zero because that's in the actual settings for the game. VSync is is on and VB strategy is on. Now, 3D setup, which is actually 3D config. There we are. So we have our video driver. So yeah, I think with the benchmark is dealing with what's actually in the config I and I in the my documents folder or in the documents folder for Microsoft. Turn that off. My video driver is a GTX 760. See, my system RAM is, yeah, low. DirectX, bleh. Sorry, it's Windows 10. Um, so basically, we'll get rid of it advances here. You click Next, Now Graphics. So the lowest it'll start is 16-bit. 
you saw it's a little bit different in Windows XP, so so we're gonna go up to all the way up to 32 bit. 800 by 600 is default. I put up me is trouble dealing with 600 by 1024. It will run fine at 60 frames per second in window mode. If you're playing it in full screen, it's 1024 by 768. Otherwise, full screen. The frames is yeah supposed to be 60. No, it's more like 30. The game is slowed down, so not good. So 1024 by 768 will be fine. Then you click next, benchmarks disabled. You press finish. You press finish. The config is set up by press cancel because it's already set up. Now, once that's taken care of, we should start the game. Now, Mef, I'm going to make sure real quick. Compatibility, no compatibility. Right, press the EXE. This is why 37. This is why 37. You see 3D set up here. Well, no, because of the user account control. 37. No, this is running 3D config. Those are the exact same thing that it did for. It did the exact same thing. So this is why, because 3D setup, the original file will not work with this. It will not work Windows 10. You run the benchmark, but you don't need to run the benchmark. You go up, you click on 1024 768 32 bit 60 hertz. You click next, you click finish, and the game should run. I will not run because I know it runs for sure. I'll press cancel. That is pretty much all it's needed. If it crashes, I think it did for me in Windows XP. I think it might be doing with the video. I wasn't too like to for certain, but yeah. Stupid Microsoft had to make NASCAR Sim Racing so hard to play on Windows 10. But yeah, somehow I got up and running. Now, very quickly, let's go over the other ones, at least. Um, NASCAR Thunder 2003. That ran perfectly fine without any issues, no change whatsoever. I'm thinking because they used the exact same ones from. Da, 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 da. They use the exact same ones. Yeah, they use the exact same 3D config from uh, F1 Challenge. Thunder 2004. Unfortunately, this is one of those games. It doesn't need to be run as administrator, but it's fine. Because in the config file, you need to actually run the game in a window mode. I have a TCL Roku television set connected to uh, the computer's connected to the Roku TV set via HDMI. If you're running it in full screen, it will not work at all. I mean, it will work. You'll hear the game running, but you won't see anything. The display is not there. Yep, it needs to be run in window mode. And that's, if you want to run NASCAR Thunder 2004 on Windows 10, yep, it needs to run in window mode only, because for me, full screen will not work. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much how to install NASCAR Sim Racing. Um, hopefully it helps. I think that's about it, so thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you much for watching.